right off stage, we have Kevin Feige making his way over to us, executive producer of Marvel Studios Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. Hello! Hi there, hi there. Hi! It has been too long since we've done this. It has been way too long since we've done this. Uh, 2019. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, did we know how far it would be until the next one. So how does it feel to be on the carpet again? I, I love fans? it. I love it. You know, we did a, we did a slightly smaller fan event at, at Black Widow, which was nice. This feels, as you can see, and I hope... Do you have a crane here? I hope yeah, you get a, a shot crane. of, the, get the, of the carpet. Come on. Get, get, the, get the carpet. Yeah. Uh, and it's then. awesome here. It's really great. I love the fact that you show up for your celebration and you're still in producer mode, producing the carpet with the gym shots yeah, and cameras. We have the crane and we do, so that's good. Yeah. No, I love it. That's yes. why we love what you do. And uh, we have to talk about the hat. Yeah, there you go. Yes. We have to talk about the hat, your tradition. Yes. Uh, I'm bald, so I wear a hat a lot. That's Heck the yeah. tradition. That's the way to do yeah. it. Style. Uh, no, but yes, we love the design. Our Shang-Chi, yes. Uh, felt uh, felt uh, appropriate for this evening. So let's talk about this new superhero joining the MCU yes. and the origin. What was why was this the right time for Shang Chi? Well, the, you know, I've 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 said that it has been almost the entirety of my 20 years at Marvel. This has been on a list of movies we dream of making, because the story, as people will soon see, uh, of this son who has this very complex relationship with his father uh, was always fascinating to us literally going back to my early days at marvel it was on a list of of great characters that we could do finally here we are tapping it into the legend of the ten rings which is also going to be fun for mcu fans tracking uh that logo throughout the movies and the cast who i hope you will be talking to soon uh is what has brought this to life and destin who i think you did talk to um uh, has done an amazing job in bringing this new, it's been a beat since we brought a new origin story of a new Marvel hero to the screen, and uh, Simu's done a tremendous job. So tell us about Simu a little bit. What made him the right guy for the job? Uh, we, uh, with, along with our casting director, Seraphin, uh, scoured the earth for, uh, for Shang-Chi. She didn't just read Twitter? <laughs> no, no, it, she scoured the earth. And no, yes, because he I, tweeted, yes. which we found out after the, after the fact, after he was cast. Um, but he had an amazing audition. He had amazing, really done some great work uh, up in Canada and just brought, as you will find soon, if you haven't already met him, a, a relatability to it that all Marvel heroes need. But he can also, you know, achieve, we believe, that sort of iconic status to stand within the pantheon of Marvel heroes. Now, what sort, what corner of the MCU uh, does Shang-Chi bring to the, to the, the team? Well... It's a good question. You know, he he taps into a couple of different things. I ha I'm, I'm dancing around some, yeah, no, some spoilers in the movie. Yeah, thing um, without saying a thing. But it is, you know, it is so much more, you know, clearly a lot of the comics and a lot of Destin's uh, references and all of our references uh, for this film were based in the kung fu genre, which is something we hadn't done before, obviously, in Marvel. The fight scenes done by the now late great Brad Allen, um... Uh, is such a testament to his legacy, which I can't wait for people to see. He was part of Jackie Chan's stunt team, and and I was looking forward to a long collaboration with him, and we and we lost him uh, a couple of weeks ago. But it also, that's just the starting point, because the power of the Ten Rings and the legend thereof, you'll learn about as well. Uh, and it really allows us to do both these incredible fight scenes, and yet bring it in in in, in a way that uh, taps into the biggest of what Marvel can do. I love that we're going to have the action and the adventure and the excitement and also the intimacy of the family story and, and what Shang-Chi means to a lot of us who can look up and see someone who looks like us on the screen. A hundred percent, and that's something that we want to continue to do at Marvel. And the books have done for years, and now finally we're doing that in the movies, and that everybody should be able to look up at that big screen, on a big screen, in a theater, and see themselves reflected the best at them. Uh, we talked about Simu, also talking about Tony Leung, because you mentioned the family aspect of the movie, which I still don't think people are quite ready for what Tony brings to this movie and what the relationship and how unique it is and how emotional this movie becomes. Well, Marvel is known for working with legendary actors. I mean, Michael Douglas, you've had Robert Redford, here you have Tony, you have Michelle Yeoh, so we are in for a treat.